Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of frame by frame animation. So, this video is a little bit different because I'm using an iPad for this one and not After Effects yet, not yet. Uh, so here I have an iPad uh, with Rough Animator, that's the app of my choice. You have a lot, lots of different ones, of course, uh, Procreate, uh, whatever, lots of them. I use Rough Animator because it's really easy and simple. So I'm going to open a new project here and Untitled, let's, let's call this Test. All right, 25 frames per second because that's how I animate. 1920 by 1080 is fine, okay. That's a new file, here we go. I'm not going to show you everything here, I'm just going to show you the basic things on how to get a really quick and easy frame by frame animation uh, going, which you then can import into After Effects to create like crazy stuff around it. So we have our layer one here, uh, that's fine. And we have our brush uh, and I can draw like this and then undo. And here we see our uh, frames. So if I create this one and then um, if I go uh, press this button, we get a new frame, as you can see here, and then we can create a new one and a new one. And if you press play, then you can see them going crazy. So we're going to undo all of that. And um, on the first layer here, I'm going to go to my tool options, and then the brush size, let's drag it down to like four or five, whatever, and then create a nice little shape like that. Fine, okay, so that's our sketch. We're going to drag this layer out to make it last a whole lot longer like that and then we're going to go back here and then we're going to create a new layer and the, you can do that by go to modify layers and add an empty layer and on this layer we're going to draw i'm going to go back to my brush uh, my tool options put the brush size to like 40 whatever and close it down and then here i can draw on this new layer like that okay so for the opacity for layer one i'm going to drag this down a bit to 50 so it's a little bit less visible because this is just my sketch layer i'm going to work be working on this one we have this layer and layer number two and layer number two we're going to draw so what i'm going to do is um, create this kind of a blobby shape it's going to move around uh, over this uh, line over there so you want to give this a bit of life uh, right so just um, we're going to draw it frame by frame for so the first frame we we'll just have a little um, little ball starting there. Then I'm gonna click this button to go to the last next frame. And then you can see we see that little ball like kind of uh, there. That's why that's because we have onion skin turned on. If I turn it off, you don't see it. If you turn it on, you see it. And what this does is it shows you the previous frame, kind of a little opaque, so you know what your previous frame was. So from this point out, I'm just going to maybe kind of zoom in here a little bit. And uh, this ball needs to move all over this line here, but it's going to stretch out a little bit while it's going. So on your next uh, layer here, I'm just going to create this ball again over here, but just a little bit more stretched out, a little less ball shape. Then go a little, one step further, and then a little more, like that. And uh, the longer you make the shapes and the, the bigger distance you can create between them, the faster it will go. So I'm having them overlap less and less as we go along. And then here it kind of slows down a little bit, so it kind of gets these little, more little smaller shapes. And then here we are, oh, it's a little bit weird. This one. Okay, then we have this little kind of a ball shape here again. And then from this point out, we're going to speed it up again a little bit. So make the shapes a bit longer, make them overlap a little bit less, make them stretch them out a little bit. So it's kind of, we get this nice, um, whoops, no, not the uh, eraser. Okay. And then here we're going to slow it down a little bit again. So make them a little bit smaller. So in these corners, I want this thing to kind of slow down a little bit. And on, on the straights, it goes a little bit faster again. So here we can have this, stretch it out a little bit more. Stretch. There we go. Oh, and here my uh, layer below it uh, stops here. So I need to drag this out a little bit, but I can't. 
So if I go to drawing durations and I type here, uh, let's make this 70. So we have 70 frames, so we have a bit more room to play with. So on this uh, frame, like this here, I can uh, go along. So take another drawing like that. And here we're going to go come, come out at the end. And at the end here, I want to go, I have to go really fast. Let's drag it over there. And I want this kind of to disappear and explode into nothingness. So um, for this one, we're going to maybe have one more. Let's see. Yeah, there's one more here. And then maybe it kind of blobs into there. And we get a little thingy over there and thingy over there. Maybe, no, let's maybe do it a little bit closer. Oh. Let's see how this will look. Little droplets. A little bit. Yeah, and then here. Oh, no, just a little bit. Okay, so now we have that. So we are here on frame number 40, as you can see here in the top corner. So we're gonna uh, type in the duration. Oh, duration of this one will be 40 frames, yes. And then here you have the end. So now I can play it back. If I turn off the bottom layer, so put the opacity at zero, so I don't see that, only see this one, and if you press play, boom. You get a little animation going here. And you get the little speed ramps, this little stuff. Let me just turn on this layer so you can see it a bit, so you can see the trajectory. So that's really the basics of it. Just, uh, I don't know how long this was, maybe five to 10 minutes somewhere. And you can just really easily draw this frame by frame stuff um, with just, let's say 40 frames I created. And we have this really nice effect. You got some life to it. We got it poof, exploding at the end. And if you can do this in five to 10 minutes and you can create a whole lot more if you spend hours on it, of course. So that's really the basic idea of it. You can, of course, ex export this to After Effects. Um, if you go to the bar menu bar here and export the video, and then you can add a QuickTime or a GIF PNG image sequence. I'm gonna use that and then test, um, and then you can uh, press okay, and then it will render that out. And you can add that to your Mac, or whatever, and you uh, import it in After Effects, and there you can kind of trace it over and create a bigger drawing out of it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked a little bit of insight into a really uh, basic frame by frame uh, drawing like this. Um, I will definitely do more of this in the future. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, bye. -bye.